Hey friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. How many times am I going to change this setup? As many times as it takes. All right. All right. Here we go. Cards are flying out. We have rejuvenating rain, wise leader and choosing your path. Clear the past, heal the present. You are a beacon for others and all is possible. So it sounds like um, clearing the past. Um, if this is referring to the conflict we've been talking about over the last couple weeks, it looks as though you may, you or somebody you know, will decide to take le the leadership position in moving beyond this conflict uh, by seeing opportunities in the path forward. More than one opportunity. Uh, choosing your path. All is possible. Let's see what it what the cards the tarot has to say about this whole wise leader. Okay. Well, first of all, we had a card fly out here and here. Three of Cups and the Empress is the energy underneath. And the Ace of Wands. Okay, let's do this way. <laughs> yes, thank you. When cards fly out like this, I um, I don't know, I always know how to take them. And so I was thinking about how do I lay these down? And then the Ace of Wands shows up saying that thought that I was having was the right one. So here we go. We've decided on our spread now. The spread may change on these weeklies. I'm not exactly sure because I'm going to be doing a lot of experimentation. That's the messages I've been getting. Here we go. We have the Eight of Cups showing up, the Five of Wands. In the reverse, there's that conflict overcoming it. A few more cards, please. One more. Yikes. It wants to give me way more than just one more. Please just one more card. Thank you. Okay. In the first column we have the Three of Cups, the Empress, Ace of Wands. Then we've got the Eight of Cups, Five of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Real nice. Let's set this up a little bit differently here. So we can see them. Clear the past, heal the present. This past situation is, is probably with somebody who, um, for lack of a better word, has mothered you or you have mothered them. You have really been there for each other um through some kind of situation this is somebody who you felt you could um really trust and maybe this is somebody who you thought would sort of be there for you at any time like forever you're like this person's always gonna have my back i think that this ace of wands there was a new beginning in something that has led you maybe away from this person. Okay, and maybe that could have been this conflict. Next column, the Eight of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I think you're realizing that this person doesn't contain your happiness. This person doesn't contain you, like your essence. Um, it's making me think of like when we put everything into another person and then they do something that is either unexpected or just like um, a surprise or just something we can't totally understand. It starts to affect us because we don't know what they're doing. We thought that they would like always be caring for us. Um, and so now this may this may be a turn into a solo journey or something like that. Like I hear somebody's going solo 
or something like that. Um, but this is the right move because it's leading away from conflict. This is walking away when you know that you're just going to disagree. And so the wise leader then, I think, the wise leader leads by example by asking the tough questions. Why are we experiencing this conflict? What is changing? Because when the unexpected happens, um, let's say, you know, in any situation, we are moving towards the unknown. We're moving towards the unknown, so we don't exactly know where we're going. Um, and so we can't necessarily articulate ourselves in the way like we're that certain ourselves either, like for whoever this is, you or another person. So it's about asking the tough questions of why. Why is this conflict appearing? Why, why am I being challenged to want to move away from this conflict into a different direction? Um, you know, and conflict isn't necessarily showing up here in this spread. I'm really just, I'm really leaning into this weekly saga of weekly energy. If you've been on that ride with me, um, then that's what I'm referring to. You may want to go back and maybe watch some of the previous videos, just like the last two or three, um, to get back on that horse. Um, okay, so that was the wise leader. Then choosing your path, all is possible. Eight of pentacles, eight of wands, ten of pentacles. Oh yeah, this is again getting that solo journey. Like eight of eight of pentacles, this could be you know doing something in isolation, doing something um for yourself, by yourself, working towards something. And it's generating energy. Eight of wands is energy, movement, communication towards what no longer serves you. So I think this is somebody Definitely. Oh, we do have three eights again. I just realized. I was like, oh, two eights. That reminds me of last week when we had three eights. Eight, eight, eight again. You are on the correct path. Um, and I have to correct myself because the eight, eight, eight that showed up in the past video is actually this week's new moon video. So... Yeah, what are we? Welcome to Sag season by the way you know um we are on that ride and so again consider for you just some general advice which house does sagittarius rule in your chart because the sun is transiting that house the sun brings light it bring it illuminates whatever's going on over there so I encourage you to check it out um, or to reach out and to let me help you um, analyze your chart or the transits occurring during this season. What else can I say about this uh, here reading? I see like different points of view and ultimately somebody taking leadership. I'd like to say that it's you, but it could be somebody else. I mean, I'm really, I, I feel though that oft, more often times than not, I'm speaking to the person watching. We did get a few more cards, just flip over. Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands, Three of Wands, um, in reverse. Okay, so be very aware. I've gotten this message before, and I'm just looking at the flame on the wise leader's torch. Um, there's a lot of wands on the table. That's the fire element. Maybe some advice for this, general advice for this period of time is to be wary of your impulsivity. Um, do not get defensive, because that's going to create energetic blockages. You don't want that. Um, I don't know what kind of, what kind of, what, what is this lesson of the Knight of Swords? Why is this here? King of Swords. Okay, so it's like, if something is triggering you or upsetting you, um, making you feel like you need to get into defensive mode about one thing or another, 
really check in with yourself about why you're having these emotions because it the king of swords in reverse coming out is saying that you're seeking validation from an external source from something outside of yourself versus sitting in your emotions sitting your sitting in your own validation your own um leadership as in be your own counsel be your own counsel don't um go out there looking for validation from people who don't necessarily again see or understand you at this time okay okay i'm going to leave it there i'll put a recommended listening in the description box below i uh, want to say thanks for joining me again for all the people who come through each week and maybe some of the new folks as well welcome to the channel make sure you like subscribe um i'll keep doing weeklies for a while i'll let you know if that changes i hope this is helpful take care